Hi everyone, how are you doing today? So as you can see by the title, we have another haul video for you today. Um, uh, I got an Ulta haul for you today, and then I actually got a couple things from Walmart that I'm going to sneak in there. Um, so yeah, I'll put it exciting. I'm very excited. I hope you enjoy. Is my thing on? I hope so. Anyway, <laughs> y'all not in the... Whew. My brain's all over the place today. What is going on here? I don't know. I was just trying to get my hair back and out of the way, but it's acting a fool. We'll just ignore him. Okay, so here we go. Oh, oops. Ta-da! So the other day I was using, you know, my all-time favorite drugstore foundation and it was empty, it was gone. I was like, oh no, I have to have this. And I actually took it, oh, I kind of popped it back on, oops. But like, I was trying to like scrape it off the sides. <laughs> but um, anyway, so I needed a refresh. So I was in town earlier and decided to stop and get me another bottle. And I actually decided to get a new shade because I feel like I'm getting a little paler since quarantine so um we got a new shade to try and i hope it matches um i just had to guess but uh anyway but of course i found some other things that i think i thought i needed so <laughs> it's now turned into a big old haul so let's see we got all our receipts i'm now a platinum member Ooh. all right so first things first we have our um l'oreal infallible fresh wear um this so my original shade that i've been forever is 410 ivory yep and um here lately i feel like it's been turning a little orange but you know they changed up the formula a little bit um so i don't know if maybe that has to do with it or what We'll see if I can scrounge up anything to kind of make a swatch. Like, I don't know. For some reason, it looks orangier. And I don't know if I've changed or it's the formula. So, that being said, we're going to try a new shade. There is the 410 Ivory. I don't know. I feel like it... Because they've added a lot of sunscreen. This is my favorite of all time, which I'm going to swatch for reference. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin um, Hydrating Foundation in the shade 0 .02. No, 0 .2, excuse me. Very fair with warm peach undertones. Of course, this looks orange too. I don't know. The shade, when I was looking up online, they recommended was actually two, sa two shades down from the ivory. Um, and then when I got in store and got to looking at it, it looked very fair, or I mean too light, and so when I looked at this one, which was the one shade down instead of two, um, I felt like it might be better, so we'll see what happens here. Oh, I pumped way too much. Okay, so this is the Smashbox one. This is the 410 Ivory. Here is the 405 Porcelain. Just the tiniest bit lighter. I've got a little bit. Let's put it on my neck. Actually, that looks... Hmm. I feel like it looks good, and then at the same time, I'm like, uh, is it though? I don't know. Phew. This is a all over the place video. So sorry, y'all. I'm gonna let them sit a minute and we'll see what happens. But I got that, so we'll see how this shade works for me. Um, and then yeah, I just got some things I've been really wanting to try lately. One being the Catrice Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This bottle is actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a smaller glass bottle. It's a nice frosted glass bottle. This is the shade that their website recommended for me, the 
002 Porcelain Beige. I didn't open it, but if you actually, when I had this in my hand, and look, these do look pretty similar. It might be a tinge lighter. And actually, another thing I'm going to do, another one I really enjoy is this Camo CC Cream in the Fair 120 Neutral. I'm going to put that on my hand for reference, too. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and swatch this. I did check it. The seal is not broken until now. I wanted to also get their hydrating one. Um, but it's completely out of stock. They had like two bottles in there and one was really, really dark and one was way too medium. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Gosh, I have it everywhere. Okay, definitely a liquidy foundation. I have it everywhere. Just on my finger here, it looks pretty similar to everything. Look at that. Okay, so Smashbox. 410 Ivory, 405, what was this, Porcelain? This is the um, Porcelain Beige, the Catrice one. What are you? What are you? Porcelain Beige, which actually looks similar to everything. And then this is the Elf one over here. The Elf one is still definitely the lightest. This Porcelain Beige one looks like it'll be good. I can't figure out like the two of these they almost look identical there's not much this might be a tinge more orangier which that was what I was kind of try to eliminate because you can see like the oranginess when I swatch it on my neck so we all right well it might be a good match actually might have did good awesome look at me let's see I don't even know where to start. We'll start with primers. I hope these are actually full. So, uh, ever, everyone talks about the NYX Marshmallow Primer. You see it all over uh, TikTok and Instagram. And it was kind of, um, a lot of people said it was overrated. A lot of people said it was really, really good. I don't know. I didn't see paying $20 for my primer from the drugstore when I don't pay that for my foundation. So I never tried it, but the more I see it, the more it intrigues me, and I really wanted to try it. But they, I've seen at Ulta, they have the little samples that you can get. So I said, okay, well then I'll get a sample and so I can try it. And then if I really think I need it, I guess I can get a one of the, the bottles, the full size, excuse me. Um, and then I also, while I was digging in there, they had this um, sample of a NYX primer, the Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer which sounded interesting because I I typically don't go for hydrating primers because my um, I feel like it can make my makeup slip around. Um, I'll just use the moisturizer and then use a gripping primer or a pore feeling primer. But for some reason, th I re this intrigued me as well. So we're going to swatch everything. So this is a clear doesn't really have a smell just a little clear feels pretty thick it's warming up to my body temperature though feels good kind of see it right there it kind of looks like it smoothed out the wrinkles in my hand interesting Well, it doesn't say exactly what it's supposed to do. It just says the hydrating jelly primer. So if it has any other benefits, I don't know. But it does look like, because you can kind of see, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but there, there's some fine lines, wrinkles in my hand, um, or the fine lines, and it seemed to have smoothed them out on this side of my hand. So that's interesting. This is the marshmallow primer. This is supposed to be do a whole, whole bunch of things. I don't know, because it doesn't have it anything on there so and it's supposed to smell sweet like marshmallows I smelled it yeah I'm gonna put it on the other side of my hand so there you can see it's a cream it 
It does have a really sweet smell. Mm, does this smell good? I typically don't like fragrance, but this is so subtle that I don't think I'd be a problem. It's on this side of my hand. You can definitely see a glow. Yeah, it's funny that bear with me, like it's smoothed over and like it's definitely matte. Um, or either the uh, marshmallow one just has a really nice glow to it one. Interesting. Okay. Um, I think I really, really want to try the marshmallow primer today. I'm going with that all over the face. One thing I want to say too, this Catrice, um, it's so, this smell is actually kind of nice. Almost like a cotton candy smell. Anyway, the Catrice um, foundation, it's supposed to be, it says mattifying. I usually stay away from mattifying with my dry skin. And actually, if you look at it, it does look pretty matte compared to the rest. Even though the rest look dried down too. But I don't know. I'm scared. I hope it turns out good. I just really wanted to try it because I've heard, I've seen so many videos about it. About people raving about it. And I just really really wanted to try it even though I'm scared it's not gonna work but that's all right so the primer feels good it does still have a tiny bit of stickiness to it which is nice I mean I don't really know what to say about a primer but it looks fine it feels good I don't mind the smell the little bit of cotton candy smell at all actually as long as I don't irritate my face you can see the, some glowiness you can see it right there okay let's just go ahead with the foundation before we get into this other stuff and I got me a fresh sponge I didn't even pull out my dirty sponge I got me a fresh one a whole tube right there or whatever you want to call it which is a lot but I know the being a new sponge is gonna get absorbed a lot Woo. so I heard this has really good coverage and it's supposed to be really light on the skin must have good lasting power too. We're gonna see what it looks like. Color looks okay. Teeny bit more. I wish the hole in the bottle was a little bit bigger because I keep missing the hole and getting foundation all over the bottle oh me okay we're just gonna do a tiny bit on the neck to see looks like a good color Shade Metro thing was pretty good on their website. Not too orange. Usually it's either a tinge to dark slash orange. It typically will pull orange on me. Or too light. Interesting. I'm not mad at it so far. It's already drying down. What I like to do is I'll just take a tinge bit more and I'll add on my cheeks and the center of my forehead for some extra coverage. Of course, not saying this is like covering, it's covering well, but but I do this with all my foundation. Really like to what is going on here?
Okay, I find where I put that dot. It's trying to... Okay, well that was that's a user error. Don't do that. Oops. Don't leave a dot there. I'm trying to gather my thoughts here and see what I think. already climbed plants so far. I'm gonna let it sit and marinate and have a good time. Seems good so far. The mat is what I'm gonna be afraid of. But we will see. The color, good. And I, this is the, I didn't even, like I said, I did the shade matcher and this is the shade it told me. And I did do a side by side on these and I was like, eh, looks good, let's go with this. But I mean, Good, awesome. Okay, let's see here. So I got two highlighters. So I got the Catrice Cosmetics Sungasm Face and Body Highlighter. First of all, this thing is huge. We're gonna compare it to my like biggest highlighter. My, it's even bigger than the biggest highlighter in my collection. And I thought this was huge. Anyway, so this is supposedly a dupe for the Cookie Highlighter. I've seen I'm not, um, I finally went to swatch the cookie highlighter today while I was picking this up and it is definitely very pretty and I was just like, oh man, that's so pretty. So if this is a dupe from the drugstore side, yes, awesome. One thing I will say, they had like three of these and none of them are sealed like whatsoever. I mean, I looked at them and they like, it doesn't look touched at all, but it wasn't even sealed like at all. I really want it to be sealed, but none of them were sealed, but this looks fine. I've seen this before, but I did not get it because I felt like it would be too dark for my pale skin. Let's swatch. We're going to swatch them on top of the primers. Ooh. Oh, very pretty. That's not as dark as I thought it was at all. It's actually weird because when you look at the pan and look at this, it looks lighter. Wow, that's pretty. I'm going to like that. And from what I remember of the cookie swatch that I had on my hand earlier today, it does actually look similar. Another highlighter I got, um, I've seen, I've been watching a lot of declutters recently because I feel like it just, they make me happy for some reason. I don't know why. Look, I'm trying to like cover my bra straps and this is not working. Oh well. You know what? They're bra straps. You know I have a bra on. whoop de doo A lot, pretty much almost every video that I watch. Um, they have the ColourPop Highlight Super Shock S ColourPop Sh Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in the shade Flexitarian. I have never s touched or seen or s swatched or used a ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter, and I'm very very excited. I've been wanting to for a long time, but I couldn't find. I didn't know what shade to pick. There's so many. They just come out with so much. Um, but a lot, a lot of people had Flexitarian, and I don't know if it was just one of them viral things that went around before my time, but it looked like my, up my alley. So I'm going to try it. I don't know why I have to smell it. Here it is. Very pretty. Looks up my alley. Alright, so first time here. Whoop. What in the world? Go back. What are you doing? Can you see me? There you are. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, it's like literal, holy cow. It's like just cream and it, oh my gosh. Look at that. Like it feels like a super, but super buttery, like um powder, but then it looks like, cr it's like melting. And it's like cream and it's, look at I'm telling you, this is fixing to be like my new favorite highlighter, I feel like. This is my type of shade. I am so excited. And you know what's even, like, I literally, when I was looking through, they had a bunch of these little pots and boxes on this whole shelf. And I couldn't, um, I was trying to see, I couldn't, I couldn't find one. And then so I got on my Ulta 
app and clicked the flexitarian highlighter and clicked store availability it said it was available so I kept digging I found one there wasn't even like a swatching sample of it I found one like tucked in a corner and boy I am so excited this ooh I mean the Catrice is beautiful too but whew, this is ooh you put me in the feels I'm telling you all right, let's do a check-in. Feels basically dry. It looks good. It's definitely a matte foundation, which is not my go-to because of my dry skin. So I feel like we should use the hydrating primer maybe, and it might be a little bit better, but it doesn't look terrible. Like, I've tried some that were just terrible. Okay, so let's put on some concealer. We're just gonna use whatever's left of this Maybelline Insta Age Rewind. It's fixing to go in the empties whenever because it doesn't even turn no more. We're gonna add some to the high points just because they're probably more, more drier areas anyway. Now, um, we're going to swap over to Walmart for a second. And the other day, me and my best friend went to Walmart. Actually, funny story. Went to Walmart because we needed some stuff because we was, Erin was sick. And she very kindly come to get me and take me to Walmart and help me. I'm not going to tell you the full details, but she, if she's watching, she knows, and we can all laugh about it. <laughs> me, and her, me and her can laugh about it, and y'all can laugh with us, and just go with it. Anyway, so of course we ended up in the makeup section, and if you've seen Miss Tati, she is back on YouTube. Actually, it's funny. I find that hilarious that I finally went and bought her palette, and like, I don't even think that video is up yet. I think it will be up next week, and all of a sudden now she's back, and I'm like, Oh my gosh, so if you don't know who Tati is, girl, where you go find her. Um, so she made a video recently of her, um, like a little face. I don't even remember what it was no more. It's been a, been a week or two maybe now, but favorites slash trying new things or something. Um, anyway, she said that this was fantastic and I really didn't want to... I've got some Physicians Formula in here from the Casey Marks collection, and I love the highlighter. I didn't think I'd like the blush. I actually ended up liking the blush, um, and then the bronzer I did not like. I did not like it all. I have since discovered that that's not the original butter bronzer in there. That is a darker shade, so that is why I don't like it and it doesn't look right on me. This is the All Star Palette which has the original butter bronzer in it, not the one that's too dark. It also has the matte butter bronzer. It has this pretty gold highlight, a pretty blush, a face powder, and these pearls, um, highlighter, what are the glow pearls highlighter? You can see like the edges, what it has a, it had, had, I've used it a lot since then. It had a overspray on top which that was kind of disappointing because I didn't realize it had the overspray and so like this is the highlighter like this is me this is this is what we got here and so like that overspray right there is like this which is up my alley um but uh then once you get into it it's this which I don't understand because it's not even you can see it doesn't even really glow like it kind of I don't know anyway that was a little bit disappointing, but, I mean, it's alright. I've been using it, I've actually used it a handful of times now. I actually used it today, um, before I took my makeup off and we started over. So, let me, my, I know my stuff is creasing as we speak. But we're just going to use this. And, let's see, what am I doing? Here we go. Let me use that powder just on where I put my concealer. I am matte enough, but I've got to set my concealer. I 
feel like this is fixing to be a really long video and I don't know how to make it any shorter. Sorry, 30 minutes. Okay. So we've got concealer and we've got some powder on the concealer. I'm not mad about this foundation at the moment. Like I feel like it's matte. It's definitely matte, but it doesn't look bad matte on me at so okay awesome also got this little bitty um one that it just really intrigued me um y'all know i love little bitty mini palettes i don't know why i do this because i always go for my singles but tati recommended this one and i really wanted to try it and i have used it multiple times now you can see um like i said i even used it today and i have been really enjoying this did i need it no have i enjoyed it yes and it's got all the favorites so if you want to try physicist formula i totally think you should get this one because it's got like i said the actual original butter bronzer which is not too dark and it's okay it's still not my favorite bronzer but it's still pretty and then the matte version which why is the matte version darker than the it's supposed to be the same, just matte, in my head, but it's not. Or at least it's not here. So, I don't know. that I don't know. I'm confused. And this was a little disappointing, but it's still a highlighter. It's still pretty. This is pretty. This is a really pretty blush. It's very light. Um, good for the fair skin girls out there. And then this is a nice little face powder. No complaints here. If you want to try Physician Formula, go find you this. I got mine at Walmart, but I did discover today that you can actually get it at Ulta. Then they have this little mini guy. So if you want to, if you want something smaller than this, I would go for this one. It's got the original butter bronzer and it's got this really, really pretty blush. It's like the blush that I have, I have in here from my first palette, but it's a lighter shade. So this would be really, really pretty. It's more of that, you know, pink, you know, pinky blush where that one in this All Star palette is more very pale but it's still pretty and this highlighter is kind of like a super shock shadow very pretty it's like a wet formula very very pretty and out of the three highlighters this one is my favorite in this palette so really hmm either one of these would be good i think if you want to try something try this one unless you just want to try all these good all these big things or get both of them. I did. Did I need them? No. Let's see. We're actually going to use some of this today. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to pause and not do this on camera. But I'm going to use the bronzer. Um, some blush. Because I didn't get any of those. And then we're going to put on the two new highlight. Well, I guess these are new highlights too. But I want to try out these other ones. <laughs> okay. So I will be back in just a minute. Okay, so here we are. We got the bronzer on. I like what I'll just do is take my big fluffy brush and just dip into both of them and then just go at the same time. And then I actually ended up using, I've actually used this light blush quite a bit. And so I went with this blush this time. Very pretty. Um, and then um, the highlighters. Um, we're going to use these new highlighters that I got today. I've already used these. Like I said, all these are really nice. This one's more natural. This one's very, like, it's definitely a highlighter, but it's, like, glowy. It's not, like, boom in your face, but it's definitely pretty, and it's gold. A lot of people would really like that. This is up my alley, the, like, blinding, really light, oops, shades. So if you're into those this one is very nice now we have the color pop flexitarian and we have the sungasm face and body highlighter this is all it's in one shade it's this one, so. and we're actually going to try both of these one on one cheek one on the other cheek actually i do have two you know what we'll use these highlighter brush brushes i don't know i typically um, do my, not the fan brushes, the little oval brushes, but I know these are clean because I never use them, but I don't know. I just hope they turn out right. If they don't turn out right, then we will 
do we'll pull out my better brushes so this is the sungasm one we'll put it over here see i just i don't i'm not it doesn't do anything these brushes are just a little dirty wipe them on my blanket okay here we go now all in there i can see it taking off some of it now actually you can see it's probably because it's got some kind of spray because now that you can see you can uh see like where it looks darker but where i'm rubbing my brush it seems to be getting lighter it just looks so dark in the pan that's why i've passed on it before very pretty it still looks pretty it still looks more like it's definitely there flashy but it's darker it's a darker color than I typically go for but very pretty and yes I add two layers and I like it to be like everywhere so okay and as pretty as this one is this is the one that I'm so excited for we have a new brush a different brush that has been wiped away we're just gonna poke in it ooh Okay, I don't, it might be probably way too much, even though I probably put too much anyway. Yes. I love how it's like melting into the skin. And like it looks like my skin's doing that by itself. Like this is pretty, but you can, you can tell I've put glitter or something on my face. But this looks like that's my it's just melting into the skin and it just like I say it looks like my face is gleaming like that just it just looks like it's gleaming that ball by itself yep mmm -hmm. I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger I don't know why I really just use my finger to be honest yep I'm actually gonna take the sungasm one because it's lighter in my skin tone to kind of go all over very pretty. This one, though, I'm telling you, that's going to be a new favorite, though. So, these are both approved. If I had to choose between the two, it would be the Flexitarian, just because that is more my style as far as the shade. But also, I, like I said, I love what it's doing, how it's just melted in my skin here. It just Like I said, it just looks like my skin is just glowing there naturally. It doesn't look like I've put something on my face this is really pretty i bet this will be really pretty like with a big brush dusted all over the body because it's more of a natural color i'm excited yes fantastic okay now we have the elf ultra precise brow pencil in the shade taupe my favorite brow pencil is the nyx one i tried the cover girl one and it was um, excuse me okay but the color was a little off for me I guess I could get the right color but that was the closest one that I seen to the color I wanted it's okay nice little fine brow and so let's compare colors okay so both of these are in the shade taupe and the elf one is definitely darker than the next one. I don't know if you could really see that, but um, but okay, we'll give it a whirl. I like how it so it's a little spin micro brow pencil and it's got the spoolie on the end, and I don't do too much to my brows. I just like to fill them in a little bit. I kind of fix my arch because my arch needs a little help, even though I just really messed it up. I like to like outline them. Because like, ooh, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? I'm talking and I'm not paying attention. Okay, so I just like to basically outline them, make the shape a little bit more defined. And then like, I definitely have like a sparse spot right in here that I fill in. And a little bit over here, more like in the arch. So I'm going to fill this in because clearly I can't talk and do this at the same time. I'll be back. Okay, here we are. Um, let's see. So I'm going to say I like it. And I actually don't mind the color. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to think um, 
if it looks any darker than my normal brows even though swatched it definitely looks a tinge darker I might can notice the color difference a tad bit but I don't mind it whatsoever like I would buy this again um I will say if you're looking for a really really precise brow pencil to make the little hairs that I would prefer the NYX one over this one because I feel it's more precise and thinner I feel like uh this makes really you can't get really really thin precise detailed lines with this it kind of widens out if that makes any sense and it, but um if you want really really like little hair to make little hairs I would definitely go for the next one um but I just like to fill in so um and then like kind of outline so I'm cool with this this was nice I like this now I don't even know what's going on anymore. Um, is that? Okay, so I got this mascara. The So this is the e.l.f. Big Mood uh, Mascara. Um, big, mega volume and lifting mascara. Um, I would try this, but I've got so many open mascaras right now, it's not even funny. And actually, I still haven't even opened my Lash Princess to try yet because I literally have... One, two, th one, two, three, four. I have five open mascaras that I'm trying to get through. So, and they're drying up on me. So, as much as I really want to try this on camera, I'm not doing it today. I'm sorry, but we're not. It's, it's actually, it makes me upset. I should. It makes me mad. But thing is, that's what happened with these. I got them, tried them on camera. So, everybody, you know, make the video. And now I have all these open mascaras and they're all going to waste. And so, I really, really don't want to do that. So, we're not going to do that today. I have two lip products to try. We might try both. Um, so we have the NYX Shine Loud uh, Dual Lip Thing in the shade Global Sh Citizen. This is like the most, you know me and I'm a nude girl. This is like the nudest shade that they have. Hold on one second. Whew. Mm. I have spilt coke all over my shirt. Oh well, give up. I'm trying to look cute. Okay, so the NYX, um, what did I say? <clears throat> Shine Loud and Global Citizen. This is like the most nude shade they had. It's kind of caramelly like, which I do like, but I really like a real nude nude. And then this is the NYX Lingerie XXL in the shade Undressed. Yeah, um, which same thing, it looks kind of like more of a caramelly shade, which is like the nudist shade that they come out with. I guess the nude nudes are going out of style now. It's like either caramel or like a peach or the, you know, pink, pinky nude. So sorry, my nose is irritated. A powder. So that's one thing I'll say. I was a little disappointed because of the color selection, but at the same time, it's... There's still colors in there I wear, but not like my favorite all-time color. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what put me off from getting these for a long time. But I finally did it. Um, I'm excited to see. Um, and then uh, what else was going to say? I've never actually tried NYX lip products or the regular lip lingeries. I don't know which one to try first. I think we're going to try the lingerie one first. Because I want to see that gloss and leave that gloss on definitely a thicker like packaging smells very sweet it's got the um it's kind of like the Maybelline ones that I've got the what do you call them super stay ink but it's curved the, instead of like straight and it's not got the hole all the way through it's just got a divot in there for the product instead of a straight hole smell is actually really strong but it's nice you can almost like feel like I'm putting cupcake near my mouth and I want to <laughs> I like the applicator but it is very flexible so I'm trying to be very careful and not make a mistake
Those are actually really good on my lips. Feels very nice on my lips. It almost feels like nothing or a chapstick. And actually, I don't mind the color. It's still a good wearable nude shade. Like I said, I typically like a really, really night nude. But this is still a pretty nude shade. It's just more of a darker nude. Does that make It's still, I'm not going to, it came off a little bit, but it's still a little wet. So we're, <laughs> um, we'll just take a break for a minute and I'll, when it dries, I'll be back. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes now, not still still not very long. It is definitely getting matte, which I prefer a matte lip, um, personally. And a, a, what in the world? Um, I know that uh, gloss is becoming very popular, but I still like really like matte. But it doesn't look crusty. If it has a good staying power, it might replace my Maybelline Stupid Stays because they're so crusty sometimes. But at the same time, they're in my opinion mask proof. My opinion. Okay. I mean, where did it go? You can see like a little bit from the edges. So it's still, but like I said, it's still drying down a tad bit. Look at that. Okay, so you can see my hand. Well, that's a smear from earlier. There's so much stuff on me. Okay, look at my middle finger. Okay, it's just got some highlighter. And I'm puckered so you can see I was moving. Like you can see the tiniest little bit. Okay, impressed. Okay, I'm going to take this off and we're gonna do the other one. Okay, here we are with a clean mouth. Oh, this video is gonna be so long. So this is the Shine Loud one. I don't know what the difference is because they came out with these and then like not five minutes after came out with these. I guess they're just coming out with a bunch of different kind of lip products. I don't know what the difference is other than the gloss because they're both supposed to be really nice um, staying power um, products. The applicator is the same. I don't smell that same smell with that one which that smell I actually really liked. Excuse me. Whoa, there's a lot on this brush. A lot on the brush. I don't particularly mind that. Okay, so this is their nudist shade, like the most light, the lightest nude shade. They're all the rest of them are pinks and reds and purples. Now I like this color. Don't get me wrong. But for my pale skin self, this is like a brown for me. Any darker, it would look like um, I'd been doing something. And I like the brown, don't get me wrong. I like brown lipstick. It's starting to dry down and get a little sticky. But um, it's pretty. I'll definitely wear this again. I might even, I'll probably even purchase it again. I do like it, the color. But this is not. It's so sticky. My lips are sticky, I can't talk. Um, but this is not a true, like, nude nude for me. It's more of a brown nude, a dark nude. So this is drying down much quicker than this. Because they said you're supposed to get sticky. It's not looking, it looks a little bit more crusty than the XXL one. <laughs> it's so sticky. 
However, it doesn't look as crusty as the other ones, but it's, it's kind of in the middle. It's getting a little crustier though. It's pushing those over there. Okay, but they did say it was gonna get sticky, which is why you have the gloss. Even the, cr I can feel the cracks of my lips sticking together and I'm pulling them apart. <laughs> okay, so this is the gloss. Interesting, this little brush applicator. I don't mind the brush applicator. It's different, but I don't mind it. I will say I had a friend who um, was telling me about these, and I asked her. I said, I said I could never find one because they were always sold out. Um, but she said she got a random shade to try one time, whatever shade she could find. And she said it was really nice. And obviously the, she said the gloss had wore off, but the color did last and stay. So the stickiness is definitely covered up now. It's very pretty and shiny. It has already started to crack. Like, but when I, but right before I was putting the gloss on, that's why I stopped because I was looking at it. You can see the color, the color you can see when I lit through the in the crack. I don't know if that's because I kept irritating it, or it's just like the like these. These will do that if you, you know if you wear them for a long time and re like re eat a bunch and it takes a lot for them to get to that point but they will they can get to that point so i don't know if i irritated it or what but it did crack the gloss is kind of like thinning down I don't know if it's absorbing into the product or what, but I can still see the lines in my lips because it's definitely a drier. It's it's like the Maybelline ones. Okay, um, we're going to go like up here. Okay, so you can see definitely the gloss came off and like a couple little chunks of it, but the color is still there. Now I'm going to... So you can see the like crusties, but obviously no color came off. And actually I feel like even though most of the gloss has rubbed off now, it's not this as sticky as it was before. So interesting. Okay, so when you just put the liquid lipstick on. It's extremely sticky. You're going to have to put something over it. There's no way I could stand that. Um, however, the gloss was pretty. It did crack, though. It did crack. But I might that might have been my fault. Might have been my fault. Um, but the gloss, you know, will wear off. But the... Oops. So there's foundation on this side. Oops. Well. Oh, well. Go, go me blooper anyway okay so the gloss wore off like during the day you know wear off but the color did not move as much as i'm irritating it it's not moving and it's not it and i'm also wanting to make this clear too the stickiness is not coming back like you can tell you've got something on your mouth, but it's not like before. So it's not like when the gloss wears off, you have to keep reapplying the gloss. Otherwise, you'll have that stickiness. Okay, that saved it because I was just like, ugh, I'm not liking this. Okay, so I still think my favorite was this one. I like the color more and I like the way it looked on my lips better. Now, I don't know about mask proof, but um, for either of these, but 
those are my thoughts as of the moment this one was pretty i like the shade but it's definitely a darker nude for for me um when you first put it on it's ex and it dries down quicker than this one it's extremely extremely sticky you have to put the gloss on but when the gloss wears off like it looks like i mean it doesn't look as dry as it did earlier and it the stickiness doesn't come back it's wearable now if that makes sense it's wearable now um and it's not moving it's not moving at all i'm actually kind of concerned how i'm gonna get this off my mouth but um interesting okay so this is already really really long we're gonna run through some prices and some 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 final thoughts okay so this is y'all know this is my favorite and so this shade it looks the same i don't understand this is the member oh okay 410 ivory and then the 405 porcelain it literally looks the same if anything, it's the tiniest, tiniest bit lighter. It might look a little more different on camera, I think, to you. I don't know. I'm going to try this, and we'll see. This is my favorite. I'm just trying a new color. This. Oh, and that foundation is $14.99. This foundation... is $11. <laughs> this is not going to do me any good. Y'all can't even see. It's definitely a matte formula, but I feel like it's dry skin friendly because it doesn't look so dry to me that I hate it. Is it my favorite? No. Is it nice? Yes. I'm going to give it, it's not my favorite, but I like it. It actually feels really, actually, I, another thing, it, I don't, it feels really nice on my skin. I don't feel heavy. Sometimes, you know, you feel a little heavy. Um, I don't feel heavy at all. Very nice. I wonder if it move a lot, too. I might wear this to work this weekend and see how it works at work with my mask and everything. Okay. These face palettes. This one, I believe, is 10. This one's like 15-ish. I think these are really pretty, and if you want to try it, if you want to try Physician's Formula, I definitely would recommend these because you get a lot of bang for your buck and you can see what you like. And then if you don't like it, you great. If you like it, you can go out and get you a single of one of these. Um, but yeah, I think these are really good purchases if you want to try Physician's Formula. Um, this Sungasm highlighter, if it's an exact dupe, I don't, dupe for the cookie highlighter, I don't know, but it looked close from what I remember of the swatch of the cookie highlighter from today, but I do know it's pretty, very pretty. $10 and it's big as my face. That would last you eternity. I'll probably never get through that. However, my favorite highlighter of the day is this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in the shade Flexitarian. I'm late to the game, but I am here for it. This is my, I'm telling, this, I'm, I love everything I got. There was not a dud here today, and I'm excited. Anyway, uh, the eyebrow pencil, I approve. If you want to get extremely fine lines, I would get the next one instead of this one. However, if you're just trying to be like me and just fill it in, go for it. Really good. Oh, we didn't even do primers. I don't know about this one. We didn't try that. This one we tried. Um, I don't know. I'm going to, I can't say yay or nay on this one because I'm going to have to try it with my other stuff to see if I notice a difference. As of this moment, I don't really notice anything special, but also I'm using all new stuff. So I'm going to use it with my, I'm going to use these with my, my stuff I've used forever and see if I notice anything dramatically change. Um... This one, I'm excited to try this. Um, the, what is this one called? The Lash It Loud. 
Um, it's not my favorite, but it's definitely a good more kind of everyday mascara instead of like a big va va boom. Um, the brush is a little annoying because it's plastic and it'll scratch my eyes. And, but if you can get past that, you know, it's a decent mascara. So I have hopes for this one looks to be really nice. The lip products. I approve of both of these to be honest both of these oops this one looked the best in my opinion as far as color and crusty lips this one looked the best um, this one it was extremely sticky however once you put the gloss on it looks great and then once the gloss even goes away it, it looks good and it's not moving at all which looks nice my concern is where the color is already cracked because if it cracks, I guess, I mean, it doesn't matter. Those crack and I still wear them, but it get, that's the only downside to it. Um, and like I said, this color is not what I want. These colors aren't what I wanted, but this one's really pretty. This one's pretty. It's just really dark, but more of a bold lip for me, but it's still pretty. Um, is that everything? I, for, I quit saying prices, didn't I? That was $10. This was $8. So actually, for the price-wise, this one would be better too because this is Tana Last You Eternity, but this one is really nice if you want to do that. And it's really not that expensive either. Uh, the Bear With Me one was $8. Marshmallow one was $8. The Lip Shine... Eleven fifty, and then nine dollars for the undressed. That's interesting, but I guess you kind of do get two products in this one. But I feel like this would the, it have so much more product in it. I was gonna kind of see point thirteen. Point eleven and point eleven. Oh. So this one actually has 0.13 fluid ounces, and this has 0.11 ounces in the in the liquid lipstick and 0.11 ounces in the gloss. Hmm, interesting. And but this is, what did it say? 11.50, and this was nine dollars. If you have a preference, if if you, <laughs> in case you need to have to pick one. That's the difference there. This is seven dollars. Brow pencil is five dollars. Uh, and then we already talked about the foundations. Okay, great. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.